going up, and we're out of here. Now, the eighth and final Triforce chart is guess where? It's on an island that can be found to the northeast of Dragon Roost. Final Triforce chart is there. There's... No, there's not much I want to say. Shoot. Get down. Get up. Why did you message me? Dude, I'm busy! Ugh, stop distracting me! I'm trying to record! Uh, somebody messaged me on MSN, even though I clearly marked myself as away. Well, busy. And yet the blooming idiot still thought it would be funny to message me. Did that count? No, it didn't. Oh, wait! Oh my god, I wasted bait. Come on. Why won't you come up? Oi! Oh. There we go. Even the fish man is making fun of me for this. Care. 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 Q. 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 Overlook Island. Just give me your info. Yay, Triumph Forks. The Triforce Charts, you idiot. Triforce Charts. Who's the idiot now? Me. Where do we got the treasure chart here? Where's the island gone? And look, my favorite thing in the whole wild world is here. What? Stop! P stop! Just stop typing, all right? You know, I'm 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 just gonna ignore him. Ignore that. I don't care if it says T for S or whatever. I am ignoring that. A little further up. Okay, I'm checking. Ah, shut up, dude. I'm trying to let's play. Uh, enough, enough, enough. This is the uh, secret cave chart. Now you know where to find the secret caverns. Basically the empty holes. Well, not the empty holes, the holes that lead to caves. And it's the specific caves that Link screams as he goes down them. You know, it's that Pop Point Isle is the only one with more than one. I should do that soon, actually. And looking at our collection of charts here, we've only got two more treasure charts left to get. So like I said, this LP will be wrapped up pretty soon. Just use your hook shed. Get up here. Just make your way across while... Damn it. I wonder what the hookshot does on these guys. It... Hey, I still killed it. It was electrified. Could have sworn it was electrified. Oh, well, I'll take it. Whoa! I... I dodged death. And you notice the secret hole here? What's up here? Whoa! Rupees, magic, rupees. Only one way to find out. Nothing! So let's go down the hall! I said down the hall! Now, just like with the um, Stormwatch Island, we just have to f defeat all the enemies in the four rooms. Only the enemies are a little tougher now. Okay, there are Bokka blends in here. In the jars. Do -do -do -do.
of course, Bokka Blins isn't exactly harder. Go oh, harder, don't say that. You're family friendly, remember? Whenever you say a great A swear word, you must censor it with Snivy's cry! Whether she likes it or not! Almost knights, oh crap. Oh. Pick it up, Link, quickly. Toss it, toss away! Toss away. They wait for their slow death animation. Let's see which one now. Okay, this one. I think this is Stealth Foes, either that or it's something else. Yeah, it's Stealth Foes. Okay, trusty boomerang. Actually, bombs break them apart immediately. No! Cheetah! Why doesn't it work anymore? Do it for the price of wow, I killed it. Ah oh, no. Okay, how are they sometimes able to stop themselves getting hurt by the bomb? Ow, wow, wow. Kill it. Ah, oh, okay. That was more trouble than it needed to be. Let's just finish this. Dun 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 dun. Alright. In here, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. No! Yellow! 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 The color of pee! Ugh. Remember that from Super Paper Mario, anyone? He's made enemies appear now. Uh, oh, heart. Uh, get the heart. Now, four dark nuts. No, that's regular attacks. Oh yeah, like that's completely fair. Stuck in the corner. Just, just wail out on them. Oh no, don't get the attention of the other one. Yeah, this is completely fair, isn't it, guys? He's dead. Yeah, I killed your armor. Phew. Okay, let's get recovery from the jewels. Alright, this one. Let's decorate the scene again. <sighs> I 
And so, we shall now claim our 8th and final Triforce chart. So that's all of them obtained. Now we can finally do something about them all. As you may know, we cannot read them, even though it's only an outline, and yet we still can't read it. You want to know how you make it readable? You have to go see Tingle. Because Tingle is the only guy who will make them readable. He will decipher them. I be it for a fee, and this is why you need so many rupees. Damn it. I, I could have sworn I've tilted it up. Oh, ah, okay. uh, get on the ball, Link. Get on the freaking ball! Stand on the freaking point. Right. Tingle Island? Whoosh! So here we are at Tingo Island. And here are our loud and proud Tingo statues. And remember we also got Nook got this guy to appear, Knuckle. He appears here. Hey, Mr. Fairy! Some outrageous fellow threw this fantabulous Tingle statue into the sea. It is said to know there is one on the sea who does not know the meaning of beauty. But not you, Mr. Fairy. You are different. Threw them into sea. Well, I was the one who found them, so could that only mean it was me? Eh. Well, anyway, Tingle will be up here. As usual. I'm gonna do the glitch. Yeah! L yeah, Link! Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, Link! Uh, see, he calls us Link now. Uh, I must say, I've been wanting to see you very badly. Not creepy at all. What should we play? Uh, here we go. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Unseeable! That fragrant mussy said, Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid! Splendid! He's teabagging me! He's teabagging me! Why? You can't read that chart in this current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? Yeah. It's going to cost you nearly 400 rupees to decipher one Triforce chart. So you have to pay nearly 3,200 rupees in total. But this will greatly empty our wallet, so let's do it. We have to do this one by one, sadly, but... Tingle? Tingle? Cool! Bah! Become... Readable! You got your chart deciphered. Now you can use it to find a piece of the Triforce. Nice. Nice. So now we just have to repeat this... several times. <laughs> you, you can't see him. <laughs> You can barely see him do his, um, dance. So this is just gonna have to be done six more times. Hooray for tediousness. Again. Now if I remember correctly, if you say no, when he asks if you, if you want it deciphered, he'll say something like, Mr. Fairy, are you poor? Ah, nothing like getting your trifles charts deciphered. While a glitch has happened. When I'm talking from Tingle from the very bottom of the tower while he's up there. And of course I have to basically mash the A button. Press A to advance dialogue. But while I'm doing this, I guess I can finally talk about something I said I was going to talk about a long time ago, earlier on in the LP, but never did. I think now's about time. It's my personal opinion on Tingle. Now, Tingle, as we know, he is considered one of the most criticized video game characters ever. Let alone most criticized Nintendo characters. Now, my honest opinion on him is, I actually don't hate Tingle. 
No, really. I don't hate Tingle. But I also am not hugely fond of him. He's just middle of the road for me. Because I'm one of ten people in the world who actually played his game on the DS. Freshly picked Tingle's Rosie Rupee Land. I'm one of the people who actually play that game and own it. And when you look back at that game, you actually kind of understand why Tingle is the way he is. And almost to the point where you feel kind of sorry for him, because it's because he was made that way. The game starts that Tingle was just a regular, a regular single man. Then this guy called Uncle Rupee just mysteriously appears and talks to him. Hmm, Mr. Fairy, I have marked the location of the Triforce Shard on your incredible chart too. When you open this chart by pressing 1, you see chart? Yeah, basically, that's it. So yeah, Uncle Rupee actually turns this man into Tingle, gives him the green bodysuit. And tells him to go find Rupees. But the only problem is, his new state means that if he does not have Rupees, he will die. Even if he has just one Rupee, he can live. Thank you for the gift. I know Tingle's... Okay, this guy's just going to give us 50 rupees for each statue we found. But when we found all five of them, he'll give us an extra bonus. Ah, you have gotten them all. Please wait a moment. As usual, I'm being a vista right now. He gives us 500 rupees for finding all five of them. My big brother saved up everything he got from you, Mr. Fairy. I do not have anything else I can give you. But please play with my big brother again. So yeah, we then learn that Uncle Rupee, who promised that Tingo would be able to uh, live in a paradise called Rupee Land, was actually evil. And this Rupee Land would be a paradise for him, not Tingo. And Rupees gave him his power, which is why he wanted Rupee so bad. So Tingo learns later on in the game that he's just a slave to Uncle Rupee. And it's actually the fairies that tell him all this. And the fairies help him defeat Uncle Rupee in the end. So when you come to think about it, that game actually explains a lot about Tingle. It explains the way he is. So in the end, you have to feel sorry for him because of what he's been through in that game. Slave labour. The game was never released in America because, well, you know, Americans do not like Tingle. But that game made me think slightly differently about him. And that's the truth. I think differently about Tingle now because of that game. So there's where all the Triforce sh shards are. But we're going to get them in the next part. Okay. So, next time on Wind Waker, we're going to start searching for the Triforce shards. So, until next time, see you later.